Hello everyone, this is a quick video on how to factory reset a Cisco Linksys SPA112 to factory settings. This one here I have forgotten the login to and if we look at the packets it's sending it's trying to connect to voiceless.aa.net.uk uh, so I want to be able to reconfigure this device um, with a different account and reuse it. What you'll need is a unbent paper clip or some other pointy tool. Uh, I would stay away from using the end of a pencil or a pen because they quite often can't get to the reset button inside. At the back of the ATA, to the left of phone one, is a reset button with a red uh, ring around it. What we need to do, and I'll show you this, is put that into there. I won't press it just yet, but I'll get it ready and I'll try and show you what the lights do as well. So that's ready to press and I'm going to press it now. After about seven seconds, the power light will go off on, and blink where there it has. I'm going to let go of that. So take that out of the reset button. And what we will see is the power light will flash quite a bit. Over on the computer, it will eventually send a uh, multicast leave message, at which point the ATA will reboot. It will then come back up and it's quite likely to then come back up with the original settings. It will then reboot a second time and then will have forgotten its settings. So interestingly, I guess this one doesn't actually do the multicast leave. The 122, so the SPA 122, uh, does did a multicast leave when uh, factory resetting that. So it's still flashing its power light, still rebooting. And it's come back up, it's sending packets. Oh, there we go, it sent a leave. So actually it did do it. That's an IGM PV2 leave. Um, and Let's see what it does now. I think it may be on its second reboot at this point. So what I'd expect to see soon is a DHCP request, but then no requests over SIP to connect to uh, the previous server, which was voiceless.aa.net.uk. Okay, it's back to sending some packets. Of course, this thing takes a long time to boot. And there we go, some DHCP packets. It's about to take an IP address, which it has, and then it sent some uh, time requests. But this time, we are unlikely to see, or shouldn't see because it's factory reset, any requests going off to a SIP server. So we've got some multicast DNS um, and some DNS, normal DNS queries, but no requests off to a SIP server. So there we go. That's how you factory reset this ATA, the Cisco Linksys SPA112. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.